feel like I'm in Starsky and Hutch or something. Well, maybe we should have a code word like Karabujan. And how am I going to get that into casual conversation? You'll never make James Bond. I just hope we're not making a terrible mistake. I'm all for recycling my shredded paper, but won't Todd be fuming when he discovers there's no cash? Well, it's like Billy said. We'd be idiots to leave actual cash, a thousand pounds in a bag on the street. Anyone couldn't have it. Besides, this way, we get to see him, don't we? Talk to him, ask him why he's been such a selfish numpty. I mean, I'm fascinated to see whether Billy actually smacks him one. Right, I've done your dirty work for you. Now I'm getting off. Oh, stay. You know you want to see him, even if it is just to have a go at him. I just don't know why he never contacted me. I thought you were all loved up with Scally McGee. Or is the trouble in paradise? No, me and Paul are fine, Tar. Todd doesn't know that, does he? I mean, for all he knows, we've been heartbroken and pining for him all this time. But you haven't. That is not the point. Did you see anybody lurking when you dropped off the fake cash? He might be wearing a disguise. Well, if he's got any sense, he will be. Yeah, no. No, I didn't see anyone. <sighs> all right. Can you see anyone? There's a young lad walking past now. Red hoodie, dark hair, between 20 to 50, so I'm not very good with ages. Hang on, he's stopping. Is it Todd? <gasps> I hope you're gonna pick that up, young man! It's all right. Well, I am sorry, there's one thing I cannot abide. It is a little out! Why I agree to this, I've got no idea. Oh, don't be disheartened. We've only been on the stakeout for 46 minutes. And you need patience and tenacity to be a spy. And discretion. <laughs> oh, I can blend. <gasps> oh, there's movement. The dam's gonna burst. Hey, okay. I need the loo two tips. But Sean, you, you're meant to be watching the bag. Sean! Come on, then, it's your turn. All right, then, smarty pants. One day, I went to market and I bought an arty... What's it? Artichoke. That's it, one of them. Uh, some belly pork, custard creams, dog food, eggs. Um, oh, what the XF? Man, if I use your loo, I don't think I'll make it at home. Fruit Loops! <laughs> uh, gravy granules, honey roast ham and individually wrapped boiled sweets. Hang on, hang on, you're not having that. I am definitely B, calm in a crisis. So, overall, that makes me a strong, independent woman. Who knew? I am so sorry. You've been hours. Jenny coming into work. Well, I could hardly say no, could I? It is my actual job. Yeah, well, I've got one of those too, believe it or not. Have I missed anything? No, no, Mary's had eyes on it the whole time. Really? Mary's asleep. What? Mary! Everything okay? No, no, Todd's probably been the whole time you've been having a kip. I, I knew this was a stupid idea. What, what can I say? I'm so sorry. I, I should have had a double shot in my lap today. Who the hell are you? Here to collect it. He must have done. I told you, I've no idea what you're talking about. Oh, you expect us to believe you just strolling past and you spotted the bag? I don't care what you believe, it's true. Never heard of this Todd bloke. There's only one way to find out then, isn't there? Where is he? What have you done with him? I've not done anything with him. You've got his phone. I found it. Oh, yeah? Where? In a bag. By the canal. Looked like someone had just dumped it there. I know I should have handed it in, but then I started looking through the text and that. Figured I could make a few quid. So it was you that wrote the letter? Yeah. All right. All right, well, take us there then. To where you found his stuff, you know, that the, there might be a clue. That'll help us find him. Yeah, all right. Oi! Come on, Mary! 